Now, Kenya requires 2.1 billion shillings annually to cater for projects geared towards intensifying an elaborate climate change action plan. Dozens of delegates attending a national workshop on climate change finance will be planning and blending multiple sources of finance that can support Kenya's projects. The workshop featuring the Kenyan government will also identify opportunities for mainstreaming climate change in the national budget. The United Nations Development Pro Programme alongside the Japanese government will also be chipping in as major stakeholders helping Kenya to effectively address climate change. Impacts of climate change for our region particularly, the frequent droughts, the frequent floods, and the impacts they bring onto our infrastructure, onto our lives, onto our livelihoods, require stable and long-term financing. Oftentimes, whenever there are such disasters like droughts, like floods, or any climate attributed uh, problems, there will be emergency responses. These emergency short-term reactive responses, while good, have not been able to address the fundamental issue of correcting the long-term uh, impacts. We stand at the threshold of another great change, the age of green economies. The financial costs involved in a rapid shift to a low emission climate resilient economy are enormous, but they are not impossible to achieve. The international climate finance resources have been estimated to reach about 100 billion by 2020.